G'day, g'day, I'm Chase of Langreax, and today uh, <laughs> I'm going to be doing a Q&A for 750 subscribers. Uh, we are at currently like 767, so I'm a little late. Apologies, but that new Mr. Bullen video came out. This is going to be uh, uncut, so sorry if there are pauses while I read, because obviously I am blind, so I'm going to um, be reading them from my phone with voiceover without any headphones. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't really know how to intro this. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing, because it only takes... Uh, two seconds of your time and you can always change your mind later leave a like if you end up enjoying this q a and thank you to everyone who has left a comment all right i'm just gonna get straight into this uh yeah uncut so apologies for the pauses uh, but yeah this is my i think my first non-reaction video so i don't know how to do these anymore <laughs> anyway let's go okay damn that has four likes <laughs> okay watch tech he says uh Uh, when did you learn about and consider doing reaction videos and who does the editing? Editing, there is no editing. Uh, unless there is a massive mistake, like an ad, there was one, th I think YouTube's cracked down on their uh, ad blocker and Blanger Reacts, what I upload on, doesn't actually have YouTube Premium, but CHYZ does, which is the one I react to videos on now. Um, sorry. Okay. So yeah. When did I learn about and consider doing reaction videos? I've known about reaction videos for ages, you know, heaps of people react to videos. It's kind of, it's almost like making a comeback with youtube now <laughs> um i don't know a lot of yeah I've, I've known about it for a while and consider doing it only when i went blind which was on the week of my 17th birthday so in march uh it's almost been a year now so march 2021 the the week of the you know when march started that's when i considered doing it because i was like i made a lot of funny moments content uh like if you've seen fits or swagger souls it's kind of similar to that kind of edgy offensive humor uh and jokes they're all taken down now because you know employees look for that kind of stuff and stuff like that so um and that wouldn't really fly today probably <laughs> um but yeah i only considered starting reaction videos when i went blind and i there is no way i would do reaction videos if i had perfect vision i would you know make the content i would like to create i used to love video editing i used to love playing football massive manchester united fan uh, which you may have seen from the shirts I wear in a few videos. Um, but yeah, known about reactions for a while and only considered when I would uh, went blind. All right, thank you, Wodgetech. Next question. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is a big question. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Christopher. All right, I'm just going to um, play it through my mic so you guys can hear it. Two weeks ago, how is it like to be blind? If you were to describe how it's like to someone who can hmm. see, what would you say? What are the everyday challenges that blind people face? Okay, what is it like to be blind? What would you... Okay, I got it. Um, it, it can be difficult. I think I've handled it a lot better than others would. Um, because, again, if you've read my channel description, it's... Uh, I went... My left eye went blind around age seven or eight. Because at that age, you don't say, like, Mom, I can't see very well through my left eye. So that went... Um, it was too late when they eventually got to it and saw it. And it was detached. So that was gone. So I've had one working eye since I was, like, eight, seven, eight years old. So almost a decade or over. I don't remember the exact date. Um, and then over age, like, 13 to 14, usually, like, year 10 or 11 in high school, it started going down. I had, like, four detached retinas in that time. And then... Um, around March 2021, as I said, yeah, it just went uh, slowly. I don't really remember. Sorry, it's not something I really focus on a lot. Um, but what is it, what is it like? Um, you can still do quite a bit. I'm, I'm quite, you know, I still make food. I, I'm not very good at cooking uh, <laughs> yet, but, you know, I can use my phone. I recently found a game called Sorty Quest, which was recommended to me by some of my blind friends, and uh, it's really, really fun, and I used to play games every single day when I was sighted, so being able to play a game on my phone uh, that is actually enjoyable. It's an RPG. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. Um, it's hard to explain, though, what it's like being blind. It, it's... It's a really tough question. What is it like? To, how do I explain it to people who aren't? Um, just normal things that most people can do. Um, you wouldn't. You, you, you can't. Like, I can't. I don't go for runs. Uh, I can't ride a bike. I can't drive a car. I can't do certain jobs like a pilot or something. Um, but I don't know. I focus on my strengths. But, you know, two of my major passions, which was football or, or a soccer, if you're American, and video editing, which I was very good at both, 
uh, kind of, you know, I slowed down near high school with the football, but I was still loved, loved editing and I wish I could do them both now. Um, but I don't know, it's hard getting your passions stripped away and then having to find no one. So luckily this voice came in when I hit puberty and I can use it to, uh, have fun <laughs> and do like impressions and accents and stuff like that, which is another type of content I would like to make and have made in the past. Man, these are really long answers. I'm going to do a very, this is going to be a very long Q&A. And there was one last part. Mm. Everyday challenges that blind people face. Um, a lot of people are ignorant in whatever city you live in, depending on the people in, who live in that city. They, they don't know how to react. Um, they don't know how to react to a blind guy. Haha. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> that, yeah, they don't know how to react. They don't know how to help you. But there are a lot of independent people. It's not the worst thing that can happen to you. I, f I think I'm going to live a very fulfilling life. Um, and there is a... Oh, also, I forgot to mention there is an announcement at the end of this video. Uh, so that that will decide the future of this channel that you need to know uh, that I'll be going to soon. And next question. Thank you, Christopher. 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 Oh, yeah. And there was a comedy left at the end as well. Oh, <laughs> also, thank you for your reaction videos. They're very entertaining. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, people seem to love my reaction videos. I know I have a small community, but I still love everyone in the community and I appreciate every comment I get. Um, and I didn't really get that with my other videos. They didn't do that well. I had more subscribers, but I don't know. I feel like there wasn't a genuine community behind those videos. And I'd be like, hey, can you ask my friends? Like, hey, can you view and comment on this video so it does better and stuff like that? But no, I just, you know, promote it and people just... And it is easier to gain traction because you're using like other people's names. And that's kind of what reaction videos go off. Um, but I don't really consider my just reactions. I'm not just like, whoa okay you know i'm kind of i add my own thoughts which is why i like um kurtzgesagt and mr ballen because you know they they are very opinionated videos in the sense that i can add my own commentary on them and just, but yeah if i was cited to answer your question uh, to answer the previous question as well uh, i wouldn't do reaction videos if i was cited i would probably do impression videos or uh funny moments in games okay thank you christopher appreciate it buddy next question Hmm. Okay. Sujal Prasad. Nice to see you again, Sujal. It's been a while. Okay. This is this. These are the questions I like because obviously they're going to be about my eyes a lot. Um. But yeah, what do you think is better for the? What, in your opinion, do you think is better for the human body? Alcohol or marijuana? Healthier and better for the human body. Yeah, in your opinion, which do you think is more healthier and better for the human body, alcohol or marijuana? Uh, they're both not good. <laughs> None of them are positive. Uh, alcohol is not good, especially if you have a developing brain from age like... I mean, no kid's going to drink when they're like 10. Uh, but anywhere from like 0 to 28, 27 for males and 0 to like 23, 24 for females, I believe, on a developing brain excessive uh alcohol use can shrink your hippocampus which is responsible for memory <laughs> so if you feel like you know that's where hangovers usually come from and the, i'm no uh I, i'm not a genius on the anatomy um but they're both not good they're not good for your liver not good for your body in general not good on a developing brain but having one beer a week wouldn't really do much but if you get drunk on a developing brain it's not very good uh marijuana and in, ingesting anything into your lungs that is not clean air is dangerous you will get tar in your lungs from doing marijuana uh i think in society marijuana is currently illegal in certain countries and certain states in the um, united states have it legalized but we had a referendum obviously in new zealand and marijuana is still illegal um but i feel like alcohol leads to drunk dri well obviously drunk driving but you know uh, domestic violence which is awful um you know, drunk driving, car crashes, uh, it's just, you know, people having DUIs. And marijuana, it can calm you down, it can also make you very paranoid and anxious, it affects people differently. Um, what's better though? I guess marijuana, none of them are good though, so it's kind of the lesser of two evils in a sense. I'm not against drink, well, I don't drink, also, to answer your question, if that was a part of it. I don't drink any alcohol anymore, I've had alcohol, uh, I don't see the point in it, I'm going to save a lot of money. I'm going to invest in my future and have a good life, save a lot of money because drinking is way overpriced. Uh, two, I don't lack any 
courage or confidence to talk to anyone or I don't need a liquid boost. And everyone just drinks because everyone else does. The only thing I've drunk in for the past three or four months has been water. And it's been fine. I feel like you only crave things if you know the taste of them. Uh, have I had pot? Uh, I haven't smoked pot, no. Um, but I've experienced it through like shotgunning it from someone else uh, briefly. Um, but you know, I, it was just cozy. I just wanted to try it. Uh, but you know, I was, I was probably like half high ish, but, um, you know, they're both not good. <laughs> if you can avoid both of them, I would recommend it because if you've never had marijuana, I don't crave marijuana. I don't want it at all in my life. I don't need it. Uh, again, that's another, you know, amount of money that you can waste on something that you otherwise wouldn't need to have. This is a long answer, man. Sorry if I'm rambling. This is going to be like a 40 minute video or something. Um, but I guess marijuana is less dangerous on yourself and your peers because... Uh, so I'll say marijuana. I'll lock in B, marijuana. <laughs> because alcohol, uh, you can get a jug of whiskey and kill yourself with it. You can you can die from alcohol poisoning. You cannot, to my knowledge, die from smoking too much pot. I don't even think it's possible. So I'm going to lock in marijuana. Uh, they're both not good. If you can avoid them both, I would recommend that. Vaping is also really bad. I don't do that. I don't smoke cigarettes, vape, pot, or alcohol. Don't do any of that. I'm all done with that. Uh, well, all done with it. I never did do it, really. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Invest in your future. <laughs> Lucas Morgan. <laughs> Lucas Morgan. The only thing that baffles me, and I really got to know, man, how do you do your hair? Because every video it's looking on point. Thank you very much, Lucas Morgan. Wow, I never get complimented. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, wow, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, it's, so, it's weird to get complimented for like a physical attribute of mine. Um I don't know. I don't really do anything. Um, I guess when I get out of the shower, my hair is obviously wet and I just comb it upwards like that. So I'll go like that with a comb and uh, it just kind of sits there as it dries. Because if you you know comb your hair upwards when it's wet, but I don't put any gel in it. I did for like one video when I was going out, only if I'm going out um, to some place that I'm going to, you know, if I'm going to be out like all day, I may as well put some gel in my hair. Um, but no, I just, when it's wet, when I get out of the shower, I comb it upwards and it sits nicely. Uh, so yeah, I, and I, I never really had a hairstyle like my whole life. I just comb it upwards and I don't know, it sits nice like that. And I had a shower like, I don't know, an hour and a half ago. So, uh, yeah, pretty much don't do anything with it. Just comb back like the sides and then upwards and then down the back. So down the back and the sides and then up the top like that. So the fringe sits up like that. Uh, but yeah, thank you. That's, uh, <laughs> I like the questions that are more, uh, not usually asked, but yeah, thank you, Lucas Morgan. Appreciate it, buddy. The master. Am I taking a degree? No, I'm 17. I am too young to go to university. Uh, although I'm not going to university uh, yet. I may go down uh, to university or up, you know, wherever I go in this country. Uh, I may go to university in the future. More on that at the end of the video because that kind of ties into an announcement of mine. How do I pronounce this name? Listen to how it says it. Anap Biswas. Ready? I'm going to use voiceover to actually spell it. Arnab. Okay. Arnab Biswas. 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 <laughs> Sorry if I mispronounced your name. All right, let's see. Mm, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I love you guys, but these comments are long. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it like at once. Anab Biswas. Two weeks ago, you said you slowly lost sight. How much can you see now? And when did you stop seeing completely? You said you lost sight. Okay, how much can you see now? I have light perception now. It's just light perception. So if something is really bright, like looking at the sun or being outside, I can tell. Or like if I look at a window, I can see like uh, white or like light mist um, and when it's dark. So I can only tell between light and dark. So that's the only part. I have no usable vision. It's just uh, light. Uh, and I think he said, when did I go? So I went uh, again, as I said, March 2021. Week of my birthday, I believe I lost uh, the final part. Uh, I believe, I think it was, I had another surgery, but I mean, I don't remember, man. Sorry. I just remember it's been since then. I haven't had vision. How much time does it take to navigate YouTube? How much time does it take to navigate YouTube? Then read comments, ETC. Then read comments, ETC. Uh, it's easy. Like if I want to scroll up. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I picked up voiceover, which is the screen reader for iPhone in about a week. Oh no, like a weekend. 
it was like three or four days um which was easy and fun no i don't i don't struggle to navigate youtube at all it's actually youtube it depends on the app if an app is accessible and it reads everything and doesn't just say button 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 uh and you know everything works well youtube is very accessible voiceover is terrific it's the best um screen reader i've ever used windows is kind of lacking there are like nvda and um jaws which are other uh screen readers but no i picked up voiceover in like a week and navigating youtube is quite easy uh but yeah thank you arnab biswas <laughs> I love it nowadays. Everyone's like, I hope you don't get offended. Oh, man. Uh, I need to pronounce your name properly because it's long. Xavier 445. Winter 446. All right, cool. Are you really blind? I know this should be obvious, but I get confused at times. I can't tell if you're joking or not. Please don't get offended, uh, offended by my stupidity. Uh, no, so I'm actually not blind. I, this is completely fake. Um, never, I can see completely fine. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Yeah, I can see all of it. I actually have completely perfect vision. I actually have 2010 vision, which is uh, better than 2020. Uh, yeah, I actually have the best vision in the world. Uh, it's all fake. My cane. Actually, I'm just going to go get my cane. It's not even real voiceover. Yeah, it's a prank. Okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> um, also, this is a Braille watch. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see the camera. Yes, I am actually blind. Uh, it's a Braille watch, so I pop it open. Like, God, I hope I can, you can see this, man. Okay. So you pop it open like that, and then you can... It's analog, um, so it's like an, it's not digital, so you can feel the Braille on the sides and then tell the time. It's really cool. I got it for Christmas. Um, no, yes, I am actually blind. Uh, yeah, I've already gone into it. Uh, left eye went age 7, 8, one detached retina, and then the right one went from age, like... 14 to 17 uh from multiple detached retinas yes i'm actually blind i just have light perception i, I can understand that because maybe i'll pick up on things that you wouldn't expect a blind person to pick up on because you're not educated about blind people or deaf people people in wheelchairs or certain mental disorders or anything like that in school you're just surrounded by your peers which, which are presumably normally able-bodied um but you know there, there are disabled people are being more integrated into schools which is how it should be you shouldn't segregate people for their differences and i don't know the whole school system just needs to be overthrown it need no well, not overthrown but it needs a reworking because you need to focus on people's strengths and not jumble them all together in a class of 30 and then you know teach them all the same um i think that's a widely generalized or uh, widely accepted uh opinion that it should be reworked in today's uh but yeah i am blind and i make jokes about it a lot um I'm kind of I'm I'm okay with people making jokes about it if I know them and I'm like their friend. But if some random bloke comes up like, oh, you can't see, it's like, bro, what? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And I think that's the last question. So yes, I am actually blind. Um, I might make the title like, am I really blind to trick people? Who knows? Yeah, that's the last one. But I believe on my uh, Mr. Born video, which did really well, it's got like 200 videos. Uh, sorry, 200 reviews and like less than 24 hours. Um, but it's because it just came out. So videos that just come out. Uh, all right, and um, so I'm going to quickly navigate to... Also, it says Blind Gary X, and it used to just say Blind Gary X. So I think they uh, updated it somehow. Okay, Mr. Bowen. Hey, it's me! You can always change your mind later. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Really means a lot. And then it lets me know that you're enjoying the content. Leave a like on your All right, I'm going to stop. Yeah, there was a comment left by... 11 comments? What's he mad? Lucas Morgan. Okay, now I'm just going through my comments, sorry. Uh, shout out Lucas Morgan. Shout yeah, Kylie Nagy. Is it Kylie Nagy? 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 <laughs> I think it's just N-A-G-Y. Anyway, Kylie Nagy. Okay. Nagy? Nagy? Mm-hmm. As a native. <laughs> Technically, I'm not a native. I have a lot of Māori in me, but I have white skin. But I'm still technically Māori. I have a lot of Māori in me, like my heritage and stuff uh, on my dad's side. But I, I guess I am a New Zealand native because I was born here and I've never left. But historically, I don't know if that would be the right terminology. <laughs> I'm a New Zealand European, but I have a lot of Māori in me. Whatever, bro. I'm, not, I'm just not even... I'm sure you've been asked everything. everything, so please disregard us if you've already around. Okay, um, if someone was to travel to your country, you as a... Oh my god, why does my nose keep running, bro? Jeez. Um, 
Uh, if someone were to travel to your country, what would you recommend they see or do you as a native? Um, ooh. Definitely go to the South Island if you love... Uh, I live in the North Island, by the way. New Zealand is split into two main islands, North and South. Um, if you like sightseeing... <laughs> pun intended, nice. Anyway, uh, sightseeing, I'd definitely recommend like Queenstown. They do a lot of good... Um, like snow activities like a lot of mountains definitely go to beaches there are black sand beaches and white sand beaches um yeah beaches there's a lot of outdoory stuff it's kind of an outdoory kind of country if you like like bungee jumping and uh what are those balls you get in and jump off a cliff in or go down a hill or whatever um there's a lot of outdoory activities like bungee jumping skydiving sightseeing whale watching um a lot of native birds a lot of beautiful uh, trees and plants so if you like outdoory stuff definitely a place to go um huh yeah i'd say the beach uh, that's what i do when things are tough i don't know i think i'm quite mentally headstrong so i don't um things don't i don't usually have an outlet to be like oh, oh i need to go somewhere to relax i don't know i usually just cope with stuff um but yeah i don't know i guess the beach there's a you can there's certain areas in the country where you can find a beach and then find a mountain quite close to it so i don't know mountains beautiful nature bushwalks uh beaches and stuff like that but yeah, when it kind i think we have rambo's end in auckland auckland's quite good for uh, uh like theme parks i guess yeah i don't know so south island for nature and beautiful landscapes mountains lakes stuff like that uh but yeah, not many activities that you, not many like, I don't know. I feel like that's enough of an answer. So yeah, I guess that was um, everyone's question. <laughs> everyone's questions. Sorry if I rambled on a few of them. Uh, and I've taken a different angle, so hopefully you can see my face a bit better. <laughs> um, maybe not, who knows. Again, blank reacts. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Uh, oh, right, announcement. This is the announcement now segment. Cool. Wow, Chase, you're so professional. Um, so... In two days, I am moving to a new city, um, and keep in mind, I'm turning 18 in 35 days, 36 days, anyway, I'm moving to a new city in two days, uh, and it is a almost boarding school for a year, and you can come back uh, if you are not feeling adequate with the skills you have learned, um, but there, I'm moving to a new city, and there is a school that teaches you to be independent, and I'm moving there. Uh, in a completely different city and I'm going to be doing a bunch of activities and learning skills like laundry and, uh, and learn how to cook my own meals and stuff like that as a blind person because, you know, I can already do a few things for myself. Um, but, you know, I just need to learn to, because I will be an adult soon, so I'm moving to a new city, learn to be independent and learn all these life skills so I can be an adult and live on my own as a blind person and be all good. <laughs> so, yeah, that's... The, the announcement is I don't know how that's going to tie in with this channel because I'm becoming an adult and as much as I'd love to just make a bunch of videos and be financially stable, um, this is the real world and I need to get a real job <laughs> and learn, uh, get skills, become more educated and get more qualifications and stuff like that to, you know, better myself and YouTube can't do that for me. So I feel uh, the announcement is kind of there will be a lack of uploads on this channel until I find out in uh, my schedule or a new way of doing videos on my own. And also someone's, I think on that Kylie Nagy comment, uh, she said, thank you for all you and your team do. And um, I'm going to see if, yeah, let's hear it. 22 hours ago. I'm sure you've been asked everything. So please disregard this if you've already answered. If someone were to travel to your country, what would you, as a native, recommend they experience? What is something that helps you on days when life kind of sucks? Thank you for all you and your team's hard work. These videos are truly entertaining. Oh, Zero likes. Thank Zero you. Replies. Um, Yeah, so thank you for all your team, you and your team do. I don't have a team. <laughs> I have 767 subscribers. I don't have a team. It's literally me and my mom. I'll be like, hey, mom, can you set up OBS? And she changes the window capture um, because, again, screen readers are lacking on computers whereas they're great on iphones but yeah back to the announcement i won't be able to really do videos um in this new city because i will have a lot more time spent on becoming independent and becoming an adult and this is not financially uh 
beneficial i do love doing the videos as i said i've done like almost 140 and i haven't made a dime from any of these videos um and i do enjoy it it's fun interacting with you guys and hearing your thoughts and opinions and when you guys disagree with me it's cool to have a bit of back and forth in the comments uh and you know the content i react to is genuine like stuff i want to react to if i find something boring i usually won't react to it again um but yeah that's the announcement i don't really know what the future of this channel will hold i will I come back home for like two week periods each term so in that time i should be able to make videos so uh i will not stop uploading on this channel completely unless i post a video saying so so i'm not quitting <laughs> um but the the uploads will not be as frequent like i usually do it every day but i've been slacking recently because i've got a lot of packing to do uh but yeah i'm flying out in like a day and a half two days ish so yeah that's the announcement sorry if that puts any of you down i appreciate all of you commenting it means a lot i hope you enjoyed a shout out i guess as a shout out if i read your comment whatever <laughs> but yeah thank you very much for watching uh if you are saddened or want to keep updated with me outside of my channel i say this at the end of every video but i feel like this is most relevant here follow me on instagram and twitter at chyz at chyznznz um to be updated and if you want to you know keep up with my life or keep up with me or you can just contact me best way is probably over instagram dms i'd say is the best way if you want to have a chat i'm all open to that uh and join my discord server if you want uh it's kind of inactive now but i always post my uploads there so that's just another way to reach me if you want to uh again you don't have to follow me in any of those if you don't want to uh, i just feel like it's best for yeah i may upload a video tomorrow because again i should have some free time then um but yeah, that's the announcement. That's the Q&A. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry if I rambled. <laughs> this was, uh, uh, I feel like, a lot longer. And I feel like I rambled with some of my answers. Anyway, I'm still rambling. Let's go, Chase. Nice work. You're a great YouTuber, pal. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Chase of Langry X. Thank you all very much for 750 subscribers. Shut up, phone. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. I'll see myself out.